morning and happy Monday. Today is Halloween prep day. Um, I'm going to start the day with cutting up a lot of apples to make some apple crumbles with what we got at the harvest festival last week. Um, in case you haven't seen that vlog, I have made the cookies I always make for Halloween, so that's ready. We need to carve our pumpkins. And yeah, I think that's it because the rest is pretty much ready. I have bought some pizzas and some garlic bread and some cocktail sausages and some little nibbles to have a little Halloween party tomorrow. And I will tell you more about that when it's happening. Uh, for now, I'm going to make crumble. I need to go and I'm going to print my recipe because it's on my laptop right now and I don't want to keep my laptop open beside me while I'm cooking and especially with flour and everything like that. And that's the crumbles out of the oven. I made a small one. It's a very small dish, this one. Um, I had to throw out quite a few apples because they had um, some like rusty colored spots in them and they smelled funny so I didn't want to risk it so all those that were like that I threw out. Um, pretty sure they are an apple tray disease. Like they look absolutely fine from the outside so I'm guessing there was nobody, no way for the people who were selling them to know. Um, but uh, yeah, so I didn't make as much as I planned to make but still not good enough. Um, I'm going to take a little break, I need to sort out a few other stuff and I am then, we need to do the pumpkins. I have to say I'm not looking forward to one bit, I hate the smell of the pumpkin, I really hate it. And the seeds in the middle, I really hate it and both my children don't want to touch them so I'm the one who has to do that bit and I'm not looking forward to that. I like the carving once it's all cleared out, I like the carving but that's it. Um, so yeah, so yeah, we're gonna do that. So we've just finished to make our pumpkins and put them out and I just need to tell you about something because this is the cutest thing. Um, some of my uh, neighbors, every house uh, around where we live has children and I know, you know, I see them every day so I, I'm quite familiar with them and uh, there's one boy and one girl who uh, are called Maeve and Jamie and I was talking about pumpkins yesterday with Jamie whenever I was um, bringing my pumpkins back from the shop and discussing like how we were going to carve them this year and what we did the previous years and all that and um, he came earlier to have a look at the pumpkins and he said that to compliment us on the pumpkins and it came in the discussion that he had, he was doing some YouTube videos, so I just mentioned I was doing some too, and I asked, oh really, what is your channel? And because it's a French name, it's quite difficult, I wrote it down on a piece of paper for him, and then he came back and knocked on the door and saying that he loved he loved the intro of the vlogs, and all. It's, just, it's just really cute. And then Maeve's friend came too, and they both said to me they had a YouTube channel, so I, I they asked if, they, if I could subscribe to them, uh, I already did two one, but they've just uh, dropped a little note in um, in my letterbox, and it says the envelope says "Salut to Mrs. Julie," and then <coughs> the note says "Salut, dear Miss Julie. We did not want to disturb you again, so we just posted this in your box thing." <laughs> so here's our YouTube names, and then. Um, They've just put the names. By the way, our names, if you don't know, they are Jamie and Maeve, but I knew that. <laughs> and then, love your vlogs, by They are really cute. Um, it's just it's just little things like that make me very happy. So I will be keeping this note because I really love it. Um, and um, yeah, it's nice. And it's nice to see kids who are doing acting well with adults, you know, they just came here, just came in the, uh, earlier, he just came to knock and say he liked our pumpkins and this is nice, it's positive and <laughs> I like that. Anyway, I'm going to tidy up because my kitchen is like a bomb site. Um, I need to finish to edit the vlog from this week. Like yesterday I edited everything up to Saturday night, so I only have to add Sunday, which wasn't much, so that's good. Um, and then, what else do we have to do? Some laundry, oh, there's an outfit. Hello is running and charging into my bun because of... Oh, you want me to open it? He's, he wants to eat your yogurt but he hasn't opened it and doesn't have a spoon. Here, do you want a spoon? A spoon? That's a fork. Do you a spoon instead? Okay, do you want me to open this? Let me open it. Okay, hold on. I just need to open the yogurt. 
Hold on. And um, yes, I'm catching up on The Apprentice. I didn't realize it had started. And so I am just catching up at the minute. And I'm going to have a little break and get stuff done around the house. This house is a mess. Good morning, happy Tuesday. And what day is it today? <laughs> what is oh, is it English breakfast? Happy Halloween! It is quarter to eight. We're going for a later train today because we just went already on time. Uh, James has a half day today, so we're gonna be busy this morning preparing stuff for the party. Love and we're gonna go and pick up James, go to the post office, and then we'll have a party. So let's get this day started. What? A what? The ghost detector, broken detector ghost, they only come out at 3, 3 a.m. Where is that? <coughs> I think I'm, what's that? A YouTuber do 3 a.m. videos. Oh, uh, yes, but Owen, uh, what they say on YouTube is not always true. Okay? Yeah, but why the ghost? Detector, how will it be cold? Oh, I'm going to respond this off camera gone? if you don't mind because we have to go and get a train. First task of the day, fold all this. Hello, I'm looking more Halloween now. So it was like a five minutes quick um, last minute preparation. It's been a crazy rush the last uh, few hours. So I'm now starting to make the food fresh over here anytime. So I'm cooking the sausages for the kids um, and then we have pizzas and garlic bread I thought I would cook the sausages because we can always stick them at the bottom of the um, oven while the pizzas are cooking if they need reheated but yeah, I'm a witch Well the party is over and I took my makeup off I didn't end up feeling much because uh, James's cousin and her kids came because they also live in the middle of nowhere so they were able to trick or treat with us and um, we have so much food left over so I think tomorrow and um, like for lunch and dinner we're having leftovers. Uh, it was very good, the kids absolutely loved it and uh, they got loads of sweets. And my two boys don't actually eat many sweets, so they kept all the things they liked. Well, I kind of saw it through because I know their taste and uh, there's a full bag of stuff that is not going to be eaten. So James is going to bring it to work tomorrow because his work is like a big office with lots of men, which probably still like sweets. So he can put the bag there and they can pick from it to get through the day while they are working at their computers. Uh, I took my makeup off, my eyes are so sore because I had, uh, I used a pigment, um, like a, um, it's, I can't remember the, I think it's a Bella Pierre one, but it's a bit like the MAC pigment pot, um, on my eyes and on my lips and I never ever wear super heavy makeup on my eyes and when I do then my eyes are very sore, so yeah, I took it off as soon as I could, I still have some mascara but I took most of it, I still have some, but I don't want to rub my eyes more. It's already feeling much better, I need to get some eye drops. Anyway, I'm going to not ramble on too much, I am going to get into my pyjamas. We have a sign uh, on the door that says trick or treaters welcome and we put it up and take it down. Uh, so I think I'm going to wait, it's 20 past 8 right now, I'm going to leave it until half 8 and take it down because most of the kids have been now so I know there won't be many more, if any. Um, and just catch up on TV and relax a bit. It's been a very busy day today. Uh, I didn't vlog much of it, but um, this morning I've got so much door stuff I had to do done. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to... I think tomorrow we're going to take it easy because today I was really... It was stressful in a way. Uh, I did enjoy the party bit, but the one... The whole bit before was really stressful. So I think tomorrow is very likely to be a pyjamas day. Oh, I have cups again. Um, so yeah, hope you had a lovely Halloween. By the time you're watching this, it's very far from Halloween, but there's something I'm really excited about. Tomorrow, I'm going to start taking the Halloween decorations down again. And the next time I decorate the house, it's Christmas. It's 
coming and now that halloween has passed well it's still halloween night but you know the, all the halloween celebrations for us have passed now that this is done it means that it's christmas next and i can officially start to think of christmas properly i've, I've been thinking about it for a long time like, but you know i can officially do it now and it feels great i'm really excited for christmas um so yeah that was a nice halloween i will see you tomorrow in the like in two seconds for you good morning and happy wednesday it is quarter to nine and i've done a lot today so far i've done something which is all there halloween is packed away completely um i like to take the decorations down quite quickly after an event is done i always like the lead to an event but i don't like it when it's over so i wanted to get back to normal and also i have a really bad migraine since yesterday <laughs> And all I feel like I should do is lay in a dark room with a sort of cold cloth on my head. But I have to mind the boys, so I can't do that. So I'm going to have to push through. Everything I've tried doesn't work. And what's happening is hormonal. So all I have to do is wait until it passes. Because it's just period coming. That's all it is. That's the same every month. Anyway, I've just put um, my usual decorations back on there i'm really glad about my fireplace being back i think i always think that the dolls tie in into like that light and i just like my favorite and don't get me wrong i love the halloween stuff and all that but um i'm happy to have it back to normal it's less cluttered as well and yeah so that's good that's done uh next time is christmas and this is although this is making the house very cluttered i do love that kind of clutter so I'm going to have a um, very lazy day today, although I've, I mean, I finished a lot of admin work at 7 in the morning and I, I, I mean I've already had a very productive day until this time um, because I want to be able to be lazy for a good part of the day to rest. I feel like I have massive bags under my eyes. Anyway, I'm really tired. I need to rest. So today is going to be a let's take it easy day and we'll see what happens. Good evening and happy Friday, <laughs> not Thursday. I haven't vlogged the past couple of days. Um, various reasons, I have been feeling in a lot of pain because of the time of the month it is. And today I left the house with my camera and my batteries, my spare batteries, and without a memory card inside it, which was my laptop from yesterday. So it didn't happen and then i came home and i was feeling wrecked and i didn't have anything interesting to vlog so i thought i would wait until tonight and i would talk to you about something different to make up for the fact i haven't vlogged the past two days uh, because i know some of you are interested in this and it's something i will talk about if you are really really interested in it uh, to the point you want to know all the details about it i'm planning to do videos regularly during the month of December on my other channel which is planner and stationery related but I just want to tell you about a project and a kind of two projects I have one is for December time and one is for the rest but for next year so I'm going to start with talking to you about something called December dailies which is a project where you have a folder a planner a notebook whatever you want but during the month of december on the run up to christmas you basically put in that a lot of christmas memories and all that to have something that you can look back at and can add pictures there there is an official december daily um brand that you can buy and all that but um there's loads of different brands who offer different ranges to do that so i'm going to show you what i have and what i'm planning to do so then it's easier for you to picture it if you don't know what it is so this is the folder i will be using so i have this folder and it came with, with some um various papers and there is those pockets like this where you can put things in some of them have like different sizes uh for so you can put pictures and all that and then i started decorating it so this is what i've done for the front part and then the last part i have done this i've put this card i actually really love this quote um 
I don't know yet how um, it's going to be laid out. I've just put kind of the thing in, inside for now. But I have a lovely box of supplies. So all the stuff I got, most of them actually, if not all, are from the Very Merry range by Simple Stories. Um, and I got, oh, I'll show you first, this. So as you can, you can get like pockets with loads of different shapes of photos so i have spare ones there and then i got a pack with some stickers and then loads of different different papers like this uh, oh this is different christmas stickers as well and then i got as well some cards that you can slot in so there are different some with quotes some with patterns and then i also have all the numbers from one to i don't know if it's 24 or Hold on. Yeah, I think it's 24. I don't know. 24 or 25, the numbers. Um, I have some little buttons that I had already. I have some die cuts that are matching. Some smaller cards. Um, some washi tapes. Uh, more st clear stickers. And then today I got this, which are like plastic templates to cut out. The things to fit in the different sizes of pockets that you have and then in here i also have like scissors and double-sided tape glue pens and all that so i will show you as i do it when i'm doing it in december and for 2018 i have this folder which is very plain now i don't know if it's going to be big enough but as i'm i've started to gather stuff so i have loads of different packets of pockets and I also got this all the stuff most of the stuff I have bought from the organized hedgehog shop which is my friend Therese's uh, stationery online shop and this one is quite cool it's um, stickers but every page has uh, is a month so you have like no edition one and I thought it would be nice because I'm gonna do like sections probably dividers for every month I'm not planning to do it every day during the year, but I just want to have the important um, times of... Hold on, I'll show you my face while I'm talking, now that I'll show you everything. Um, I did, in 2016, last year, I did uh, Project Life, which is a similar idea. And I was doing uh, pages every week, at the end of every week. And I did it without fail until the end of July and I still have to print all the pictures for the rest of the year. I do have them, it's just going through them and finishing to print everything. <coughs> but I love to look back at it. But the, the size of the album is really big, so it's not very convenient to store and to keep. So I wanted to go with something smaller. But some of the weeks I felt like I had to, I was putting things in just for the sake of putting things in, which was not very interesting. So uh, instead of doing that, I'm just going to journal and keep pictures of all the important times of the year. Uh, so some month might be a lot, some month there might not be much, but at least I don't um, see for when we, we go on holidays, for example, I don't have to stop myself at picking pictures for a double page. I can do more pages if I want. Uh, same for birthdays and all that. So I'll just see how it goes, but I will probably share my progress with you. So that's my project for next year, shaping up there. Uh, and then um, once I think once I finish the Christmas one, I'll pack all my supplies out of this box into a smaller box and then I'll put stuff for the year there. But yeah, for now, this is what I'm going to start. Bye, soon. Good morning. Mm -hmm. uh, as we see afternoon. <laughs> Happy Saturday. We're just back from dance class ah. and we left. We left dance class. It was bright and sunny, like very cold, but bright and sunny and suddenly out of nowhere, <laughs> a massive dark cloud appear. And, and then, then cows appeared and then like and one the or two. It was and then there was like... <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to show you, hold on, I need to show. I mean, it was sunny, <laughs> literally a minute ago. There was no signs of this. It just appeared. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So, We've now we've arrived home. We've arrived home. It's been a very eventful drive back. Like a tr suddenly, a tractor appeared out of nowhere, right in front of me on the right, wrong side of the road. We went past a field where there was a two cows, and suddenly it looked like there was a million of them in that field. It's just like thirty or twenty. Yeah, it was very very strange. Anyway, that cloud is passing, so we decided we're gonna wait 
I mean, the front door is not far, but right now, the way it's pouring down will get soaked in two seconds. So the cloud, we can see the cloud moving. Yeah, there's more and more blue sky. So we are waiting yep. for the cloud to pass to be able to get inside the house. Um, <coughs> let's explain the program of after. Owen is going for a... Sleepover! Oh God, <laughs> starting to read super loud. Come on, just go, cloud. I'm going to show you. Can you see? Hold on, there. Can you see there? That is all blue sky and then there's that thing, <laughs> which is also over us. And then the other side was blue sky, but now it's all grey on the other side because it's the cloud going fast. But yeah, see the way this is moving? This, hopefully. Oh, there we go. I think we're going to be able to go home. So, Owen is going for a sleepover with Alfie and their uh, James' parents. Home down quite a lot. Yes, yeah, it's actually pretty much top. Oh no, <laughs> almost telling it. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, and we are going to see for our James. Hey, calm down! And then having a full night's sleep. Yes, we are. Uh, last night has been great because Alfie decided to wake up at 1.30 in the morning. As <laughs> you do, because it's the full moon at the moment. Uh, so that's what I blame for this. But um, right now I'm like a zombie. So I'm gonna go home, we get their bag packed. You're being... I'm a zombie, don't I? Do I not look like a zombie? Look at that. Uh, look at the bags under my eyes. See that? Oh no. Oh. <laughs> we've missed we've missed our window. Right, okay. We're just gonna go in the house, I think. We're now at the cinema over there. We've just dropped off the boys. And we are going to see Thor. I don't know if I said that earlier. Because Owen was really hyper with that rain craziness. And then I was just gonna get a bit of shopping done on the way home. And tonight I'm looking forward to watch the to watching the X Factor in my pajamas uninterrupted. I can take the whole room in the living room if I want to do some scrapbooking and stuff like that if I want to, without having little hands taking it. James can then play the Xbox probably. <laughs> and we can sleep. An entire night in our own bed. Yes, that would be great. So, I'm gonna go and see the movie now. I'm hoping I don't fall asleep because I'm really tired. But we have some um, kind of energy boosters to keep us going just in case. We're out of the cinema. I'm all blurry, but I don't really care because I'm gonna have to go soon because I just wanted to vlog the fact that it's absolutely freezing right now. It's six degrees. The temperatures have dropped massively. This is very blurry. There! Yes! Hi! And it is very cold, but look! You can't see because it's a screen and it doesn't work. But it says... The <laughs> there! Oh, coming in. Come on! Six degrees! And it's not even half six because my clock is not right. It is twenty past five. And it's dark outside. And it's six degrees. It means that Christmas is coming soon. <laughs> I'm sure that's what you thought when you came up to send it. Apart from that, Thor was good. It was funny. And at the end, there was one... What do you call them? End scenes? Cut scenes? No, but the after, say, after credit scenes. The after credit scenes. Every time I'm wondering how many nerds are going to stay in the room. We are part of the nerds, so... <laughs> we're, we're not offending anybody. We are nerds. But after the first one, there was quite a lot of people for the first one, actually. That was quite unusual, but it yeah. wasn't very late into the credits. Um, and then there were six of us, which is kind of what usually happens. Mm -hmm. The last one was a bit... Meh. <laughs> I was expecting a bit more than this. But anyway, it was a good movie. It was fun. So if you want to go and see it, go and see it. We're off to Tesco's to get some food for tonight so we can have a dinner in peace. While watching the X Factor, <laughs> because James is so excited about the X Factor. Yeah. <laughs> James doesn't really watch the X Factor. I watch the X Factor, and he's usually in the room with his VR, the Gear VR, or the Gear like VR that. thing on his on his face, so or on his computer or something. Anyway, we're off to Tesco's. So we're home back from Tesco's. The full moon looks amazing outside. James tried to get a shot from the car, but it was reflecting off the. Um, the windows we just went back out and obviously clouds came out so I'll just not include whatever the best shot of it we have is just had an idea and I thought I would share it with you there's one thing I love to do but I can't do a lot when the boys are here especially Alfie Owen would be fine I love to do jigsaws and well, obviously Alfie would get his hands on them 
uh, because I don't like small jigsaws. I 1,000 pieces is actually kind of the minimum I would go for. And I have two that I haven't made yet. This one is actually a glow-in-the-dark one. I think I got that one either in the works or like one of the cheap shops and I bought it thinking I'll do it someday and the day has come. Now the thing is the boys are coming back tomorrow night. I do not have anything or any place where I can leave this sitting if it's not finished. So I really really want to do that. So the only way is for me to finish it by the time they come back and that's what I'm going to try and do. So it is just after quarter past nine. Uh, we ended up watching Catching Up on the Walking Dead. So I'm going to watch The X Factor on plus one. And I will show you where I'm at when I stop tonight. And let's see if I can do this. This is where I'm at. Not much progress. It's just after midnight, so I'm going to go to bed. Good afternoon and happy Sunday. I haven't vlogged this morning, but what I've done so far today is going to be summed up very quickly when I turn the camera around. I did it. I finished it. It drove me nuts. But it's done. It glows in the dark and I don't know how I'm going to see that, but it's meant to glow in the dark. It's the first time I ever see a jigsaw that glows in the dark. But this is it done and it's... I finished it at 4 o'clock. I don't think you can see there. I have done nothing else at all. Well, we had lunch. We've watched a movie called Split which I've been wanting to watch for ages, but I was too scared to watch on my own. And we can't really watch when the boys are here because it's a bit too scary. So we thought I'd watch it in the morning because if I can't watch stuff like that at night, but it was very good. And um, now I need to do all the stuff I was meant to do today and I haven't done because I made a jigsaw, but I had fun making the jigsaw. So I'm off to do some very boring things that I will spare you because I mean, laundry and all that is not very interesting. It's much later now, it's actually almost 11 o'clock in the evening and uh, I'm just going to end this vlog um, and I wanted to uh, quickly explain something to you because in the next vlog there will be hopefully good developments about this so I wanted to tell you about a little decision, well a kind of a big decision I have made this week um <clears throat> as you know i have a gastric band and lately it's been causing me a lot of issues well i'm assuming it's the band causing those issues i've been having very bad uh acid reflux for a while but um never as bad as it is right now i've tried a lot of medication with my gp i have tried changing my diet i have tried herbal remedies i've tried anything i could find and um, despite that, in the last month, it has gotten bad. Like, and I do mean bad to the point that uh, there hasn't been a single night in the past month and a half where I have not woken up. Uh, I'm choking is a very dramatic word, but it's making me cough. And then I'm, I'm, I'm choking. <laughs> it wakes me up. And it ends up being the only way to get any relief is, is to be sick, which is not ideal. Um, I my GP suggested it could be my band before, but I have spoken to the nurse who was following me, and she was saying it shouldn't be. Um, and I felt like they were kind of passing the book all the time, and I got a bit tired of this, so I decided to take matters in my own hands and do some research about could the band cause this and uh, found while I was looking a um, clinic in Belfast who was explaining on their website different issues you could get with the band and there was an exact description of all the symptoms I've been experiencing over the past year or so. Now it's not just that, there's been all the little things that I never thought it could be linked with the band. I'm not going to go into full detail here, but anyway, the description they were giving for the issue with the band was exactly every single symptom I've been experiencing. So I decided to get in touch in them, with them. Uh, what they recommend for a situation like mine is to uh, completely loosen the band. So just to explain briefly, there is um, the band has little pockets where you can inject some fluid. 
I have on my belly a pot under my skin and there's a tube going up to the band and if they inject some solution it inflates the band so it makes the opening for the foot to go past uh, tighter and if they take the fluid out it makes the opening bigger so I can technically eat more and I'm fuller for less time. Um, my band has been in place since 2010 so I mean it's in February it will be eight years which is a very long time. Um, in the past year I have not really lost weight with it uh, despite it being tight uh, but lately I have felt like it was restricting what type of food I could eat uh, which were the good food. There's a lot of vegetable I can't eat. Meat is very difficult for me to eat at the moment so I made a decision. I'm going to get my band loosened because I need to health wise because my stomach is really inflamed at the moment uh, and it doesn't have a chance to recover because the band is putting too much pressure so by deflating the band it would let my stomach heal which is the main focus right now but I'm going to try something and I'm, get, I'm saying try because it's not a permanent decision I can change my mind the band is still in place it will just be deflated let's say I want to try and do this without my band working at all. I got the band for one reason uh, at the start. My motivation to get it is because I could not get pregnant. I have polycystic ovary syndrome. It's very hard for me to get pregnant and to be able to have access to fertility treatment, which I needed, um, or I needed to lose some weight. At the weight I was then, uh, I was about 35 to 40 kilos heavier than now, which is a lot and um, <clears throat> it was the only way. I've, I had tried so many other ways. So my motivation to get this band was to have children. I'm now in a position where I more than likely cannot have any more children. Uh, well, when I say I, it's both of us together. It would be extremely, extremely tricky for us to have children and to be able to have more, it would more than likely mean um, an artificial insemination with injecting myself with loads of hormones and all that which is not really something um, I'm thinking of doing right now even if that worked my body the way it is right now uh, because of my pelvic injuries might not be able to cope with the pregnancy without me being on bed rest which is completely undoable right now I don't think it would be fair on anyone in the family and to be honest, with James's ongoing issues and my health the way it is, we kind of feel at the moment that two is more than enough. We're very happy, we feel very lucky. I was always told all, all my life that I would not be able to have children without fertility treatment. We got two. Two of them. So I already feel very lucky. Um, and lately I have been selling all the baby stuff and kind of turning the having more babies paid over, uh, which wasn't an easy process, but now that I'm doing it, I'm feeling very uh, happy about it because I feel like it's the right thing to do. And the band is, I, for some reason, I could not let go of having my band working. And lately I felt like it was not um, following the way I was feeling myself. I don't know how to explain this properly. It's very strange, but anyway. Uh, from the moment I found that clinic who could help me, I contacted them, I have an appointment on Tuesday to go and meet them and uh, I have felt like everything was falling into places the way it should be and I felt more at peace with myself <coughs> because I feel like I can make the choices to eat the healthier food at the minute because of my band, even if I want to eat some healthier food, sometimes I can't physically and this is not nice, I don't like it. Uh, so, yes, um, the plan is more than likely that my band will get completely uh, deflated on Tuesday. And although I'm stressed about going to a new clinic, meeting new medical staff and all that, um, so far the way they've dealt with everything from the moment I contacted them by email to making the appointment to explaining to me the whole process and all, I have felt very... Um, I'm very confident that they are very professional and they are there to help me and I'm very happy with that. So this is going to be the big thing happening next week. Um, so yeah, you can just have to watch and 
cross your fingers it all goes well for me anyway i'm gonna go to bed now and i will see you in the next vlog bye